name is Ryan Naylor, and I am the founder of SO Watches. SO Watches is a silicone watch company focused on fashionable designs infused with negative ion technology. We are seeking an investment of $35,000 in exchange for 20% of the company. Every day, our bodies are bombarded by positive ions, which are molecules. They're simply emitted from electronic devices, computers, TVs, fluorescent lighting. Too much positive ion on our bodies puts unnatural pressure on us. What we have done is we use the counterpart of positive ion to help bring our body back to its more natural state, called negative ion. What we do is we put it in our watches, and it helps restore our energy field in our bodies. I just want to make sure what you're telling me here, Ryan. You're basically saying this positive negative ion thing is a real health concern. Because it sounds a little, you know... Fluffy? Well, it sounds a lot like a coffee enema. Supposedly good for you, but who knows, right? Right. You might be a little skeptical if it indeed works. But I'd like to do a quick balance test to see if you can feel the difference. So, anybody want to try? All right, go, go for it, Lori. Lori. And this oh. is going to test your balance. So what I want you to do is put both arms out like a T, and then just resist my pressure. So I'm put a little pressure. So now just stand on your left foot. Your balance. <laughs> no. That's good. You can't this even is do a good challenge because yeah. I can't even stand. Right. Now just put on put on a watch. You got a pink one now for you. Now if it works, then we know it works. Okay. A pink one. Okay. Just resist. Resist. Looks like it's working. Yeah, you look it? like you have more balance than that oh. one. That's a little weird. Yeah, do you feel it? A little difference? Well, yeah. So I actually have a few watches for each of you guys to have. Thank you, you very go. much. Here's yours. No, oh, thanks. Go ahead. You keep it. It's Dallas Mavericks Blue. Just That's for you. That's okay. You keep it. Okay. Thank you. Mark, are you allergic to positive, negative ion stuff? No, I'm allergic to scams. Seriously, this is not new. It's been disproven. What you saw is the placebo effect. There's athletes that wear it. It's a joke. It's a scam. It's not real. I'm out. Wow, that is probably one of the fastest outs of, in history. This is uh, not going well for Ryan here. Uh, Ryan, I, you know, it's been a number of years. I vaguely remember watching this before. I uh, would, you know, I'd love to have you come and follow up, uh, do a follow up interview here on the channel. So reach out in the comments below. But oh, man, 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 look, I'm not a scientist. I don't even pretend to play one here on YouTube. Uh, but you know, there is, I've, I've, I mean, I remember hearing about this kind of stuff going back to even, I guess, even to the '90s, and I'm sure it goes back even further than that. But even as a kid, so. You know, some people are like the placebo effect is real. Uh, and some people will, you know, whether it's a charm, a bracelet, a, a lucky this or lucky that, lucky socks, uh, will, you know, go out of their way to to make it. Now, what I will say, let's like constructively, the presentation, not great, right? You're, you're coming out there. Uh, you're not bringing a doctor. You're not bringing a scientist. You know, somebody who has uh, the authority to to like, yeah, like I hear you, Mark, and 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 I know you're what you're saying, but like, here's some studies. Here's some lab tests. Here's what I, we found, and and all that. And here's some blind tests that we've done. Uh, you know, double blind tests that we've done, and and things of that nature. And look, I, I'm sure uh, Mark has probably looked into it. He owns the Mavericks. He works with athletes every single day. Uh, so, you know, it's, it's part of the, uh, the piece that makes, you know, makes up like what he is talking with his doctors, you know, the, the staff doctors, the, uh, the medical staff and all. And, and I'm sure he's had, uh, talks with lots of other, uh, people because of the businesses that he's invested in, in over the years. But anyway, going back, like the chart thing, not great. Uh, the placebo effect, you know, and I can I just say, I didn't realize Lori was that short. I'm not sure where her height is either. Ryan, you are super tall or uh, she is uh, really not that tall um, and then has heels on top of that. So uh, you learn something new, you, you know, you realize something new every day. Right. And if we're not growing, if we're not learning, we're not growing. So uh, very cool uh, idea. I wish things like this were, it was that simple. There was magic bullets for everything. This channel isn't a magic bullet for everything. You're watching, I'm watching, we're learning, we're growing together. Uh, and I'm not selling anybody on some magic bullet theory of how to make a million dollars. Like that's 
no, that's <laughs> that's not how this works. That's not how this channel works. Okay, we figure it out, figure it out. We grind, we learn, we study, and we grow it together in the super community. That's what this is all about. So, uh, yeah. <sighs> man anyway while you're while you're watching this go over to shopsuperjoe.com and get yourself one of the abcs apparel books or courses classes uh with me so we got uh the super entrepreneur apparel the books we got them in digital form we even have a uh, sale going on right now the New Year's sale, uh, super four book digital bundle. You get all four of my books that I wrote over the last six years or so uh, for 65% off as a digital download. And uh, you can go do that. It's uh, available till February 22nd, 2022 is when this sale ends. So go to shopsuperjoe.com. Okay, what do you really think, Mark? I think it's a joke. It's a scam. And I'm still out. Well, what I want to know is selling any of these. Sales from a $10,000 investment were $120,000 in just 12 months. Okay, so some people are buying them. That's, have you made any money on the $110,000? I have. We have about $70,000 in profit. Really? You pay to acquire your customers? How are you getting them? No, nope, my background is in search engine optimization, so we are the top of all the organic search results. I like that. We, we don't spend anything in marketing other than my time that I dedicate with my background. So you're basically getting your customers for free. Correct. That is, uh, look, SEO is huge. Uh, I have friends that, that uh, you know, that's all they do is work with people on SEO uh, for their websites and, and, and all that. But I... Um, so I, I, I appreciate his skills to be able, you know, Ryan, your skills to be able to get there. Uh, and look, sometimes the vehicle isn't necessarily something that everyone's going to love and, and believe in. And that's and that's OK. Right. People don't all, all believe and love this channel, but even and it might be hard to believe. But there, <laughs> there are comments out there. Um, the But I I just, you know, I think it's really important to utilize, you know, if you're going to be going direct to customer, learn the internet, learn how the internet works, learn how to build websites, learn how to do SEO, search engine optimization, so that you can go and get those customers as cheaply as possible. Figure out who your competition is and what they're doing well with their websites to end up in the search results, and then get as much traffic as you can to beat them at that game. If you rely on other people to do that stuff, you're just going to continue to spend money. It's great to get a baseline, but at some point, if it's a a cornerstone in your business to, to sell direct online, you got to learn it. You got to, you got to be your own, you know, expert here. How do you get the negative ions in this rubber band? Really when cheaply. we're melting the silicone into the molds, we put the negative ion chemical into the silicone. With a wand? <laughs> You're saying they constantly emit out of here. How do you know when they run out? It, I mean, it has a net charge. Do you have laboratory testing on this, independent laboratory testing that Hell shows no. that it really works? Hell no. Laboratory testing? Yeah. <laughs> that's what he needs to have. Okay. Need to be able to sell something like this on any TV medium whatsoever, you have to have independent laboratory testing that shows your claims. Otherwise, the FTC is going to be all over you. No, we don't have anything. It's a common thing. For positive ions and negative ions, we're just neutralizing the effects of the positive ions. It's been around for years. I've got to say. I mean, look, what Lori's saying is is true. When you're talking about anything to do with health, you got to get that, you know, those clearances. You got to get those that studies, and and you got to be very careful about what you're saying. You know, what the positive effects are. One of the uh, famous examples that comes to mind was uh, Cheerio saying that they were uh, they could reduce your risk of heart attack or something, a heart attack, stroke, or, or something to that effect, and and they had to change their messaging because like people you know might believe that by eating cheerios i'm just gonna have some magic shield that's like not going to give me uh you know i'm i'm, I'm immune to heart attacks and and all that stuff um so you know they had to end up changing that messaging i think uh the whole red bull gives you wings thing was a was another thing that came up uh, at one point where somebody had a lawsuit because of the fact that you know it doesn't actually give you wings and it's like well of course it doesn't this is marketing but this is the time we live in i think this is a liability nightmare you don't have any claims that you can back up so i'm out 
And that's a person who tried it. So you created this watch? This design? I didn't originate the design. My other two designs are my own original design. So you're saying that you already purchased the first watch that showed, but you designed the other two? Yep. I helped take a company called Roomba Time, and they have the exact same line. So you're lying. And with that, I'm out. Are you lying? No. What, which design? Which are you referring All three. to? No, those are the bottom two are unique to me. I designed those. The other one is. I'll a, ship you a box. Well, more than one person can make a watch like that. I mean, a lot of people make the same design all the time. Man, there's a lot of crosstalk going in there. If you if you guys could all hear that, um, you know, there's only so many different ways to make a watch. Uh, you know, maybe maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Maybe he was inspired by something that he saw. It, you know, it's it's that's it's a really uh, great. You know, it can kind of get into a great area, but. Uh, I wonder if, if Damon ever actually wound up sending him those boxes of watches. I feel one with the eye on right now. I'm just trying to figure <laughs> out if I can make any money in this deal. Kevin, I'm going to warn you. If you even try to make money from this, I will come over and just beat the living crap out of you. It's horrible. <laughs> well, Ryan, everybody's calling you a scam artist. One guy called you a liar, and you're just kind of sucking it all in he's wearing his watches oh. yeah I, i've got my balance <laughs> i gotta tell you you can take a lot of abuse and still hang in there i like that about you look ryan i don't believe in any of this i'm out thank you there's been a lot of interesting discussion about scam here but before before mr wonderful like that there is so much to be said for being able to take that abuse and not crack under the pressure um you know, when, when I get negative comments here on the channel, my, my response is always to say, I appreciate you watching and commenting. And then I will respond, uh, appropriately from there, depending on what the, uh, negative or, uh, really rude comments that I, from time to time, <laughs> from time to time get here, uh, on the channel. But I think it's important that you do you right. And, and I've had people where, you know, go back and say, uh, after they've said something that was maybe rude or moderately, you know, not nice about the channel um, or myself. And, and then, you know, I say, look, I, I appreciate you watching and commenting. Look, the videos are done the way they're done because this is um, the way that I can get it through the YouTube copyright bot and, and on, you know, onto the Internet. Uh, and if you don't like it, then maybe it's not for you. Like we're here to help people grow. I, I, I've said that, you know, I don't want to beat a dead horse here, but, um, but being able to reflect yourself, and, you know, and, and feel positive about yourself and how you respond to that stuff is, is really, it's really important. And, uh, I think there's a, a really key lesson here for, for, from this interaction where people are just like, I, you know, I, obviously I don't believe this and this is terrible. And, and you're, you're just like quote unquote scamming people. But at the end of the day, you know, Ryan is handling it, uh, with grace and, and under, I I'm guessing understands that not everyone's going to get it. Now, the ion juice thing, I, I would like a little more of an explanation. Maybe he gave an explanation. Maybe it was edited. I don't know. But it makes it um, a little less believable. Uh, uh, but, yeah, we're going to check in on what he's got, uh, what he's up to now uh, recently. So uh, stay tuned to the end. Well, how about this? If you admit it's a scam, maybe I'll invest. Is it a scam? I don't, I don't believe it is. Okay, so my options are I invest and have the crap beaten out of my Mark Cuban. I don't like that too much. You're telling me it's real, but can't get it on TV because it's not accredited by anybody in the medical profession. I don't see an option here except to say I'm out. Okay. Thank you for your time. I appreciate it. Good luck. Bad luck. Mojo. You know what? I don't care what you think, but you got to believe in your business. Why didn't the guy defend himself? That was the turning point for me. We beat him up pretty badly. Yeah, and he's not a fighter either. What, is he a lover, Lord? <laughs> he's a lover, not a fighter. It frustrates me that, that Mark Cuban clouded the water for the other sharks. It's too bad that they weren't able to, to focus on me and my product rather than being scared off by Mark Cuban. Mm, 
well that that is a fair uh that is a fair assessment even if you know mark clearly feels very passionate about that uh so they do have a twitter handle uh they their website is no longer up the last time they they posted was in 2013 where they mentioned uh come see our new store at taggy watches uh, I did find this over at Money Inc. Uh, amusingly, SO Watches uh, wasn't done in by sudden outbursts of skepticism among potential customers. Instead, it was done in by Exxon Mobil, of all companies, uh, which was less than enthusiastic about the idea of a rather dubious watch company that happened to share a name with a brand that it owned for more than 100 years. Uh, perhaps unsurprisingly, Naylor settled with Exxon Mobil, uh, which is why SO Watches no, uh, no longer exists. But that said, SO Watches isn't entirely dead. After all, uh, there is now Taggy, which uh, still makes similar watches, but with fewer claims about their supposed health benefits. On the whole, this story should remind people to be more skeptical uh, about the purchases that they choose to make, particularly when their marketing makes them sound much better than it, than what is believable. Uh, this is because marketing can often be less than faithful representation of the truth, whether because the people behind the marketing genuinely believe what they are claiming or because the people behind the marketing aren't above being misleading when they can mean a bigger profit for them. Due to this, a healthy sense of skepticism can be very useful consumers. So that's just reading from uh, them. And then there was an interview that he did i think this was in 2015 yeah 2015 beginning of 2015 uh it, he was asked uh would Naylor ever pitch on shark tank again in a heartbeat he said but i would rather i would take what i learned and not just talk about numbers and opportunities i would make sure my product and messaging is completely aligned with my passions and goals i'm gonna ding the bell for that because that that is uh, what all of you should be striving for, is building your businesses with passion to make it so that when uh, when somebody does, you know, call you out as a scam or a shill or a this or a that, you know, you're able to look, you know, look yourself in the mirror and say, no, I, I this is what I, I believe. And there's people here that believe it uh, and it and it works and, and all that. So, look, I, I'm, I'm hoping that I don't get, you know, um, you know, uh, flamed in the comments for being this being true or false or, 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 or whatever. Uh, I'm, I try to be as objective as I can here. And, and that's what I try to bring every single episode uh, that I do. So if you have something nice to say, if you have something negative to say, let's keep it at least respect respectful. I, I would appreciate that if possible, like, but I love getting comments like this from Marcos just found your videos. I've been watching Shark Tank for some time and I look for your videos every day keep them coming these new kevin hart ones are great good luck and have fun thank you so much marcos i appreciate you watching and being a part of the super community i appreciate you making it to the end i'll see you in one of these videos over here take care and go be super